so I know you have solved break your smartphone and whenever you try to boot your device it just constantly shows the logo now you have a Xiaomi or a Poco device so it's easy for you to fix this issue you installed MI flash tool and tried to boot your device but again this tool too disappointed you it showed you a error and you are tired of this all believe me this video will fix all of the errors you are facing Hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching Fairy Tech. So first of all the main thing to note is your device bootloader should be unlocked and if that is so then yeah you can easily flash the room through MI flash tool. Now the errors. Now you have to download this ADB setup exe. Once you download it, open it, type Y and click enter every time they ask you a question. What this will do is install ADB and fetch boot drivers on your PC or laptop. The link for this file is given in the video description so make sure you do this as this is something that is really needed to be done. After this you have to come to the room that you have downloaded. Now note that the room you have downloaded should be the room made for your device. Not like you are using a Poco F1 and flashing a room made for Poco X3. Also there are two different varieties of a single room. The first one is the recovery one which is flashed through recovery mode and the other one is the fetch boot room which is flashed through fetch boot mode. Now the rooms are codename wise like every phone has a unique codename. So if you want to know what's the codename of your device then go to google and simply search for your device codename and then download the fetch boot flash upper room for your device and also try to use the latest version of the following room. If you have already installed the perfect ROM and still error is occurring, then try to re-extract the zip file of the ROM, that will definitely solve the issues. If not, then try reinstalling the ROM. The other thing you have to do is to reinstall the MI flash tool. Maybe there are issues with the application itself. Reinstalling could fix the issues. So yes, reinstall the MI flash tool too. Also, I'll advise you one thing here is that install the MI flash tool in C drive. Well, there is no caution for installing MI flash tool anywhere on your computer, but to avoid issues, try to install it in the root path of C drive. The next thing you have to do is to copy or move your flash boot flashable room that you extracted to the MI flash tool folder itself so that the tool can locate the room easily and will flash it without any issues. Now you have to check if there is any single space in the folder name. If there is, then quickly remove the spaces by renaming it. This is a major reason why people face issues in the MF flash tool. So yes, if you find any single space, then rename it and remove them. And also try to remove the strange symbols you see in the name. Also try not to put the ROM folder in a lot folders inside. This can also be the reason behind the errors. Once you remove those strange symbols, remove spaces if there are any and don't put the room folder inside a lot of folders, then yes, everything will be sorted out. The next thing you have to do is to plug the USB cable in other port of your PC or laptop. Don't use the port through which you are trying to flash the room, instead use the other port. And now boot your device to fetch boot mode and then go to command prompt and type fast boot devices and click enter. After you click enter, it will show you a serial number. If it's showing so, then your device is connected and you can flash the room through my flash tool. If still you face any error, then go to the room folder and check if there exists any .bat file and not changed. Now how should you flash the room? For this, go to the room folder click on the blank space in the address section, copy the address. Now you have to run the MI flash tool as run as administrator. After opening it, paste the address there. And if you want to lock the bootloader, then select clean all and lock. If you don't want to, then select clean all. And now click on refresh, now click flash. It will start flashing the room. That's it. So these were some solutions. If you are facing CR Solish or sparse CR Solish error, then I have already made a video on that topic. You can watch it. 
so yeah this was the video hope i helped you drop a like if i did so maybe subscribe to you thanks for watching we'll see you very soon in the next one